Hey, what's up you guys? So there's a couple things that I want to talk about with y'all today and those two things are both G-Dragon related. I mean, it's the best kind of day. <laughs> so first of all, I want to talk to you guys about the Kwon Ji Yong documentary of the Moment of Truth, The End, Mott Tour. And also I want to share with you guys some of my vlog and my experience from the Mott Tour myself. Um, I did post the vlog before, so if you're like, girl, I already saw your vlog from there. That was like a year ago. Yes, it was. It was a magical day. Um, literally, that concert was one of the best days of my entire life. And unfortunately, due to the other G-Dragon Kwon Jeong related thing in this video, that vlog was blocked worldwide. Um, I'm not salty about it, I get it. Uh, the concert footage um, now coincides with the movie, so it makes sense for it to be blocked worldwide. I got it, I understand. No hard feelings, Jeong and squad. I am cool with it, um, but I loved that day and it was seriously one of the best concert experiences of my whole life and it makes me sad that the vlog's not out there anymore. Granted, the vlog's not quite as special without, um, well, G-Dragon himself being in it, Kwon Jeong, the one and only, um, but it still shows my experience and my thoughts like leading up to the concert and after the concert and kind of like all of that stuff, showing my merch I think I did in the vlog. But I just wanted those things to still be out there um, for you guys and also just for me because it was such a great day and it kind of bums me out that the vlog's not out in, in the universe anymore. So I figured I would share that with you guys again at the end of this video. But first I'm gonna talk about what I thought of the documentary that is on YouTube Premium. I thought it was YouTube Red, right? Am I going crazy? Now it says YouTube Premium. But YouTube Premium's Kwon Ji Young documentary. Oh my god, so good. Before we get into my vlog, I just want to talk about that film. I freaking loved it. As a film major, I was crying inside. As a G-Dragon Kwon Ji Young fan, I was crying inside. Um, I cried on the outside as well because it's a, it's a moving documentary. I really think you should check it out. Even if you're not a fan of G-Dragon, even if he's not your fave, you need to check it out. The Kwon Ji Young documentary is like super telling and super raw and just, I loved it like it was so different than any like concert documentary I've ever seen like I guess what do I have to compare to it like Justin Bieber concert film and like One Direction documentary <laughs> Um, but basically like the documentary was very artsy it played with a lot of like colors and black and white footage and it was just very raw and real and obviously it's a documentary is gonna be real that's the point of a documentary but I feel like even so documentaries can often feel very produced, very staged. You know, they have little cutscenes with interviews and things like that a lot of the times, which is great. Those documentaries are good. But I think it was great to have it more just be like, just like really like a follow him around type documentary. Like there wasn't a lot of intervening from the filmmakers. There wasn't a lot of, if any, staging of things in it. You know, it was just very real and just really showed Jiang's like life on tour. And I really, really loved seeing that side of him. Um, at some parts it was hard, at some parts it was adorable. This man loves crafts. I mean, I feel like I knew that, but just for some reason seeing Jiang crafting in his hotel room, like after a concert just made me cry on the outside and the inside. Cause I was like, that's the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and he's just such a humble, down-to-earth person. Like, I feel like I have never seen a celebrity so real. Like, so just down-to-earth. And I that's why I love him so much. That's why I'm such a huge fan of him. And I'm just so inspired by him. He's, I mean, he's a genius. Yet, he's, like, grounded. You know what I mean? And that can be rare. Like, I mean, if G-Dragon was like, I'm the best, I'm G-Dragon, I'm Kwon Ji Young, I'm Tops, like, I'd be like get it yes you are but like i love so much more that he's just like he's just a dude trying to entertain and i feel like he's got so much pressure on himself and parts of the documentary were hard to watch i'm not going to give anything away but it's obvious this guy has worked really hard for a very very long time since a super young age and it's pretty evident to me that he needs a break and um Obviously that's always sad when your artist, your favorite artist takes a break, but like honestly after watching that, like boy, do you all take a break? Boy, you need a break. You've created so much amazing art. If you don't want a break, amazing. Uh, if you're ready to get crack a lacking, that's great. I love seeing all the new stuff you create, all of the clothes, art, music, everything. But yo, if you need a break, get your break. Like, 
it's so well deserved. I mean, he works so hard and it's so evident how hands on he is with his tour and how big of a part of the production of the concert process that he is and that's amazing to me. It's clear that he works so hard. I mean, he works himself to the bone like it's just so obvious and I really think you need to check it out. Even if you don't like anything K-pop related, seriously check it out because just artistically, it is a very, very beautiful and raw documentary. The way it's filmed is beautiful and it's almost got a bit of experimental type aspects to it in the way that it was filmed and just, it was very moving. Like, I was really excited about it and it ended up being so different than I thought. I mean, I think when you picture a concert documentary, a lot of the times you're like, oh, it's gonna be like a hype up documentary. Like, oh yeah, like, Woo, you know, Kwon Jeong, D-Dragon, he's the best. Like, he's he's the greatest. Woo, woo, woo. Show all the fans screaming in the crowds. Woo, -hoo. show how exciting it is. Show how great he is. Because, I mean, a lot of times that's how concert documentaries end up being. And, I mean, that's, you know, it's about a concert that's about them. So how could it not end up that way? And it didn't. Like, I feel like... It does focus on some onstage aspects, but it very much just focused on Jiyoung as a person and the art just like within him and the way he's creating it. And it wasn't a lot about the fans. And I liked that aspect of it. I mean, not that it ignored the fact that he has fans. Of course, he was like, I'm working towards this for all of you. But I feel like with him, it was really just, here's a step into my life. Here's a look into my mind. I'm gonna be so raw, so real, so honest with all of you, just like his Kwon Jeong album was. And I think it was just truly beautiful. I'm gonna watch it a billion times. You know I got that YouTube premium free trial for that. And you guys should really check it out. You can get the YouTube premium free trial to check it out. It's so worth it. They also have a Big Bang series on YouTube premium that you could check out and all sorts of other great stuff. So go for that. Not Spawn. Wish it was. Ba Ji Young. Hit me up. <laughs> um, but now I'm gonna show you guys my footage from the concert. Literally one of the best days of my whole life. Seeing Ji Young in the flesh, he's such an inspiration for me. I just, I get so inspired by him. I don't know what it is. It's his artisticness, his talent, everything just inspires me. So here is a little look into that concert experience I had. Hey, what is up you guys? So it is G Dragon Day. I am so ready for this. It is the G Dragon concert. I am about to leave my hotel room to head there now. Just thought I would do a quick little intro for you guys. Um, I am so excited right now. Like this literally doesn't even feel real. Uh, it hasn't quite hit me yet. I don't think that I'm seeing G-Dragon in person. <laughs> what can you expect today? Uh, lots of fangirling, as per usual. Um, it's probably about to get lit AF at the concert. Hopefully I can film a little bit of concert footage for you guys. Um, and you know what? There might be a few tears shed, you know? <laughs> we all know how that goes, but like, I'm freaking out, guys. Like, I'm trying so hard to like, sort of contain myself, but it's not working. Like, girl, I'm about to be breathing the same air as G-Dragon, so like, get hype. But yeah, so I'm in Chicago right now. I just thought I'd do a quick little like, OOTD. Pretend I'm like a little like, fashion person, like I know what I'm doing. Um, but first of all, we know I drew on uh, my favorite tattoo of GDs, the smiley face, and then I just drew like, the little piece minus one thingamajig on my arm. Anyways, here's like a little quick OOTD. Um, um, this is a new shirt that I got. It's from American Eagle. It's got these strappy thingies. I like it. And then just jeans from, actually my jeans are also from American Eagle. And then rocking the Converse because comfort. But yeah, just like get hype. I'm literally not going to be able to contain myself at this concert. I'm so excited. My voice is for some reason already leaving me. Um, it's just mentally preparing itself to be gone tomorrow, I guess. But we'll see how I sound after the concert. It's probably about to be rough. Oh my god. <laughs> No. <laughs> this is so bad. Alright, now here's the part that I can't show you anymore because your girl does not want to get blocked worldwide again. But basically, insert about 15, literally like 15 minutes of concert footage here. Um, insert some screams from me. Insert some screams and shouts from other people. Insert some, Jiyonga, marry me. <laughs> like, just insert. <laughs> Not coming from me, coming from people surrounding me. Not that I wasn't screaming, but I wasn't quite screaming that. Picture Jiyoung up on stage, looking beautiful, singing his beautiful little heart out, rapping his little heart out. That's, that's the concert for you. <laughs> so, you all just saw what happened. Your girl breathed the same air as G-Dragon for like two and a half hours. It was lit. I, <laughs> it hurts to talk. Literally? Everything about the concert was amazing. Um, 
<sighs> this is gonna be a really tough concert for me to talk about because it was just like so incredible. My life is complete. <laughs> um, G Dragon was amazing. Like, I seriously, words can't even describe how awesome it felt to just like be in his presence. That sounds so like extra, but just like he's such a talented and hardworking guy, and like to be able to experience that talent and like hard work and charisma and everything just like in person is just totally something different than like just different like it's just incredible like oh my god it was so good i'm losing my voice like crazy the lighting and everything was beautiful you saw that in this vlog um the lighting was incredible the little like videos they played on the screen were amazing like they looked so aesthetically pleasing this concert uh Jiang said um, in the concert actually I can't remember if I got footage of that or not um, but he said in the concert that like this album is so personal to him which is something that a lot of us know already um, it's very evident through just even the lyrics of this album even without even knowing that he put a little extra like oomph into this you know what I mean like it stands out um, and it really stands out that there's a, a more personal flair to this album and it is sort of like his first like album as Kwon Ji Yong and like expressing these feelings that he has and it's just so deep and so good and like the concept of the concert sort of being like Kwon Ji Yong versus G-Dragon like I loved that and just kind of like the coming together and the separation of G-Dragon and Kwon Ji Yong like sort of just like acknowledging and appreciating that they are one but also like getting a taste more of just Kwon Ji Yong himself. When he was talking as like Kwon Ji Yong as himself, you can almost sort of tell he's like a little bit nervous and like, that's just, that's just why I love him so much is like, he has this incredible charisma and stage persona um, as G Dragon or whatever, but he also has it as Kwon Ji Yong. And um, there's a big difference between the two, and it's always blown my mind that he's able to do and have both. Um, and I think that that's really what defines him as such an incredible artist. His singing, though, was incredible live. There was, like, a little sneak CL appearance on the screen, or a couple, I guess, because she had that little interview. Um, and then just, like, uh, the rapping, the singing, everything was just on point and like with crayon and like a few of his other songs he did almost like remix versions of them um you guys got to hear that in this vlog like the crayon sort of like remix kind of thing that was so cool like I, I wasn't expecting that i don't know why i just wasn't and that was really neat to see and hear it was an incredible experience for me um and honestly this opportunity to see g dragon in concert just meant the absolute world to me because um g dragon rather though kwan ji yong um, Jiang is a huge inspiration for me. Um, he helped me through a really big rough patch I was going through in terms of my creativity and just, like, my life and stuff. Um, and he really helped me to, like, find inspiration in what I love doing again, um, and find sort of, like, the will to work hard again. Just because if, like, anybody's a great model for hard work, it is him. Um, and just... He's just been such an inspiration to me, and just, this was such an inspirational show, and that being said, it just meant that much more to me to be there, like, if that makes sense. To be there, like, supporting him, and, like, watching him on stage, and, like, screaming Kwon Ji Yong, like, it's just a really special and good feeling. God, he's so talented. And the dancing. I don't even think I mentioned the dancing yet. Like, I feel like sometimes I forget that he's a freaking amazing dancer. Because sometimes you see these performances of, like, Big Bang all performing together. And they're kind of just, like, goofing off around with each other. And, like, dang, boy has moves. And, like, I know he has moves. Don't think I didn't know he has moves. I know. But I was just still shook by them. So, it was an incredible concert. I was general admission. This is my wristband for that. Um, I was a little bit far back. I mean, not super far back. I was, like, the second row of general admission. But there was a VIP. I'm, like, shaking you all, all around. But there was, like, a VIP um, section in front of that. I dropped $125 on merch. Whoops. He's got cute shirts. I'm wearing one right now. I'll actually show you guys the merch that I got. 
Um, I got two of the t-shirts. One is a Quan Ji Yong shirt, and one says G-Dragon versus Quan Ji Yong, which I thought was cool. Um, there was another, there were a couple other nice shirt designs, and there was hats and all sorts of things, and it was so hard for me to not buy everything. Um, but I also bought an official light stick because I did not have one yet because I have not seen G-Dragon or Big Bang or any of the other members of Big Bang yet. But girl, I'm planning on seeing them again <laughs> because so good. And I know that any member of Big Bang would bring it in a solo concert. And they will certainly bring it all together. Which he did promise in Houston that he would be all together again. So I'm counting on that. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, uh, oh my god. It was so good. Um, also, side note, it rained. Of course it rained. It rained on me at BTS. Why wouldn't it rain on me at G-Dragon? <laughs> rains on me at all of the concerts i'm like next time i'm not even gonna straighten my hair kwan jiang if you for some reason are watching this girl i'm getting teary eyed already i haven't even started my speech kwan jiang if you're watching this you seriously did an amazing job tonight and you should be very proud of yourself um you should be very proud of kwan jiang because you totally delivered and i really appreciate that you made yourself so vulnerable in this show and with this album um to sort of kind of shed the G Dragon ness sort of for a little bit and just kind of be Quan Jiang up there on stage. And I know that that was probably not easy and it probably feels like sort of uncomfortable because, like, I mean, if you're so used to, you know, being G Dragon and like going up on stage is like G Dragon, like, it's gotta feel weird to just put yourself out there and be like, this is me. Like, that was probably so hard to do. And I'm so glad that you did it. And I'm sure that everybody else is so glad that you did it. Um, and just like, yo, Quan Jiang, you like are such an inspiration to me and so many other people. And like, you put smiles on every face in that concert tonight. Um, and just like, thank you for being such a creative inspiration for me. And thank you for getting me through some tough times. And just thank you for making just amazing music. <laughs> and thank you for being a good person. And just thank you for being Quan Jiang. I'm done being cheesy now. A tear is being shed. And that means <laughs> that I need to stop with the speech. I just wanted a little tidbit back on YouTube for you all. Seriously, check out the documentary if you haven't already. If you've seen the documentary, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. Button if you're new here, give this video a big thumbs up, you know the drill, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!